hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope everybody's as well as possible um uh, today um it's um, mostly um been sunny outside it has also been cloudy with spots of rain so a bit of a mixture today and um, again it's about average temperatures for around this uh, this year so again it's not been um cool uh, cool but it's not exactly been a uh, warm either so about moderate and um, Hi, if you're new here to my channel, uh, my name's Rebecca. I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss up uploads. So, and a big thank you for doing so. Um, today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK Five Exciting Facts, October 2023, Part One. So I'm going to dive right in to a business oh, fact number one, which is from Business Travel News Europe. The government is set to scrap the Manchester leg of HS2. So we don't know whether they are going to scrap it altogether, but they are uh, talk at least talking about it, um, scrapping the Manchester leg. At Birmingham to Manchester leg of the HS2. Uh, number two, um, gov.uk, the government announces long term plans uh, to back drivers um, in the UK. The plan will address drivers' everyday concerns with new measures to keep traffic moving make parking simpler and clamp down on um, on like um, road works uh, going on for too long let's say um, guidance to be reviewed on the 20 mile per hour limits and uh, low traffic neighbourhoods in England to ensure neighbourhoods in England to ensure local support and um, and in a blanket of imposition of anti-driver policies drivers across the country will also soon be able to benefit from the new tech to simplify uh, to simplify parking payments so that's um hopefully going to be all good news uh, to dr uh, drivers um around the uk and um And I hope uh, drivers will enjoy these or find it easier, these um, policies that are going to come into measure. And uh, number three, Travel Weekly, UK poised to um, launch electronic um, travel authorisation for visitors from Qatar uh, this uh, month. Um, e TA is set to launch on October the 25th uh, 2023 in a trial with Qatar nationals who uh, will need authorization to travel to the UK from uh, November the 15th 2023 uh, the scheme will sub if it goes well um, be extended to other Gulf countries and um, rallied out to all non-UK nationals uh, that don't require a visa by the end of 2024. So the authorisation will cost £10 and it's valid for two years. Uh, moving on um, to uh, daily record millions of older people um, with free bus passes could see the scheme include to countrywide train travel which is brilliant news for older people um, 
An online petition is calling for change and has received nearly uh, 22,000 signature of support from across the UK. Uh, Ronald John Bradbury proposing pensioners um, be given a free rail uh, travel to enhance their mental well-being and to allow them to meet up with others and to venture further afield on a day out. Um, which is really good news um, especially um, if you've got um, a free bus pass and um, hopefully soon you'll be able to get a free uh, like rail card uh, or, or free rail travel fingers crossed um, and number five express dot co dot uk um, says uh, UK's prettiest country pubs to visit this autumn um, so, it's so p uh, picturesque um, new research as conducted by the big house experience of the top 10 are, uh, are revealed and taking the top spot da, 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 is uh, the gun arms in Norfolk take takes home the UK's uh, prettiest country pub located in a small but charming village um, in uh, Thought Market in Norfolk and um, the traditional English pub is um, instantly welcoming to both locals and visitors uh, from far and wide and thanks to its cosy and quarant exterior um, number two is uh, the Gunnard's Head in Cornwall, St Ives. Number three, the Punch Bowl in Cumbria. Number four, um, Grover's Inn, Loch Lomond, uh, Scotland. Number five, the Clatch Can, excuse my pronunciation, the Clatch Clane in Glencoe in Argyll and number six um, Lord at Crew Arons at County Durham or Lord Crew Arms County Durham and number seven the Apple Cross in Wester uh, Pass and number eight the Old Verge at uh, Malakai or Malagig uh, excuse my pronunciation but I think that uh, place is somewhere in Scotland and uh, number nine um, the Light on Arms Worcestershire and last but not least number ten the Rose Inn in Kent so um you could have a local um, on your list or you may not do but um, if you're around any of these areas then, and you're looking for a country pub to pop into then these are all um, the ten that's recommended um, in the UK uh, by the big house experience so i would like to say thank you for watching tomorrow i'm going shopping um to uh, loughborough and also going to see a film so i'll let you know how that um go, uh, goes in my um improvements updates and more video uh, which is going to be this sunday um, so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you Thursday for a budget travel spe special. So please keep watching and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.